with a level of detail and subtlety and technical chops uncommon on a South Florida art scene. Murals and paintings made with extraordinary expertise. Painted by the artist known as Trek Six. We talked to him about influences, inspiration, and the extraordinary singularity and structure that make his work completely unique. This is Arte Palabra. Oscar, the, the detail in the eyes and the face is so, you can see it in the lens almost more because you got to be so far from it, it's so good. Well, what I was, what I was telling Lizzie is like some of these paintings, I, I play a lot with the concept of, of um, opaque and very uh, uh, shiny blacks, like the color black. And if there isn't a sufficient amount of light, you can't really tell the difference between the two. Like if you look at the Albizu one, like in his forehead, like the lower left point of the star, you can see there's a matte black there, and then there's like a shinier, like darker true black. And cameras, I think, will probably pick that up a lot better than maybe. We What's amazing is that like the the you need they're almost like you get you got to be really far from them in a way to really okay. get. The emotion in the, some of the uh, expressions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I paint because I paint live a lot of them. I paint really close, you know. But I constantly I walk away and I look at it from afar, and then I go back and then work on it, working on so I, I try to keep them so they, they can be enjoyed by uh, from a distance because people are behind me also, you know, painting on stage and they're watching me. So I'm very constant. I'm very conscious of scale. You know, from a distance. The worst thing in the world is going to watch a live painter and he doesn't pay attention to that and then you end up watching a dude's back the whole performance. You know? Do you think of yourself when you're painting like that as a performer? Uh, do you think you, have, you, you owe something to the crowd besides just making the painting? No. I'm not a, I'm not a, a clown. You know, I'm a, well, I'm a painter and what I'm showing you is how painting works. So, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna pull out any sort of props or, you know, or anything like that. I go and I do my thing, but I try to, you know, also make it so I'm taking some of the same risks that musicians are taking in that I start almost at the same time as the band, so maybe a half hour or so before they start. And I end usually about a half hour or so after them. So you see a painting from start to finish during a, a, a band's whole entire set for the most part, you know. So I, it's not a performance, but there is a certain level of, uh, of awareness that I have of the, there's, you know, it's a spectacle or there's a crowd or, you know, eyes are on me. And so, so yeah, you know, it's, there is a bit of a dance involved, but not, 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 any, not, not performance and maybe how most people would think. Did that say words? Oh yeah. What's it say? It was track. Or or not would be just to different people depending on their definition of what an artist or what an artist is supposed to do. You know, um, to 
me, art is just a documentation of history. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a national history or a regional history or, or a geographic place. Or it, it could be your own history or a catalog of dreams. You know, that's a history of images. So it, uh, as, it's my job to catalog a history. And this is a history of different thoughts and concepts and events and series of feelings and questions and whatnot on canvas and that's that's my role that's my only role to stay true to that you know uh, what happens to the product that's none of my business that's my wife's deal you know that's the people who like the works deal the galleries uh and everybody else you know my sole responsibility is to put my heart on these things that's it why trek six um track is is a graffiti name that I adopted back in 1990. And um, six is an abbreviation of a, set, a series of digits I used to use to set me apart from the possibility of another track in this world. A lot of times graffiti writers will add names to the end of their, their tags. Usually it's like a street number or something like that. You know, I have a friend who's Brimstone 127, he did the 127th Street. You know, and there's guys from like AIM Crew, which depending on which order you came into the crew, to, was your number? Five, six, seven, eight, and so forth. So, through that I got my name, Trek Six. Do you ever want to just be Oscar Montes on there? No, I don't like, I don't like using my real name for, for this stuff. I like to keep a certain, I like to keep my, my private life fairly private. <laughs> that was when I was going to, I've gone to three different schools, this Ringling School of Art and Design. I also went to Artes Plastica in Puerto Rico, which I ended up teaching there. And then, um, and then uh, this is, now I'm enrolled in full set in Orlando. You didn't know a lot of people that do, I, I don't think you're a graffiti painter, but I mean people that do graf only graffiti, or, I mean, do you, what do you consider yourself, graffiti? You know, that's a tough question. This is I, 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 myself, always just consider this all an extension of my graffiti. You know? The, the materials, like the, the actual stuff that I use, are all graffiti tools. They're markers made for graffiti artists using tints that are specific, so that they're permanent or glossy. I use, uh, you know, my own inks, custom-made inks. You know, that are somewhat semi-permanent, some are quasi, you know, very permanent. Um, I use spray paint, and then I use a little bit of acrylics, but um, it all really, I mean, the attitude and and everything stems from from my graffiti stuff. Well, I mean, even though you you wouldn't see it because there's nothing like any, there's no like words or a lot of like lettering, um, I usually do, would do that on a wall outside. This is just more for, I don't know, other stuff. Yeah, I would still say I'm a graffiti artist. I don't, I don't know, probably most people would disagree with me though. Parents started sticking art supplies in front of me when I was, I think, five, 